Hello everybody. Well, I repeat myself again when I say we are now into the second year of the pandemic and quite despairing in many regards. I won't repeat what I've already said, but we have to look to the future. And just a week today, we will have our annual general meeting of the um, charity here in Morocco. And that will require us to have a meeting in the village so local people can attend where we will appoint new trustees. And I'm quite excited to say that I think this year, fingers crossed, we may have a, a, a woman team of trustees. Um, uh, the, the, the men here are quite delighted at that prospect, but we'll have to see what happens next week. So I'll keep you informed. We're also at the beginning of April going to have patron, patrons. We've never had patrons before. We've just kept going, doing what we do in the way that we think we can. And I can tell you now at this stage, one of the patrons will be Lynn Guinness, who has lived here in Marrakesh for many, many years and is hugely respected in Morocco. And I think will be a great ambassador for us. And we are in discussions with two amazing people in the States who I think will also be ambassadors for us. But I will release their names when that has been agreed. So we're looking forward to a female team um, working with the men here in a very positive way forward. And we have to keep going. The reality is that Equines are still suffering in Morocco, inevitable. It, 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 you, you, you just couldn't think otherwise because so many people who rely on working animals are, are now out of work. The borders into Morocco are closed, I think with the exception of very few countries, including America, but certainly they're closed to the UK and to most countries in Europe, Turkey, and so on and so on. You can check that on the news. I'm sure that you know if people are interested, they can check that. But of course, it's devastating in terms of tourism because here in Marrakesh, it is a huge tourist center who rely and have relied for many years on the growing tourist trade. And of course, that has gone. So here we are looking forward to the next year, trying to find our way through. I'll tell you what I'm going to do over broadcasts. I do a broadcast just later today about Joan, the donkey who is very old and really collapsed. We've moved her into the intensive care stable in our hospital block now because she had knocked her water bowl over last night and was lying in water which scalded the side of her body is, is not good news but she is eating she wants to stand and our philosophy here is however old the donkey if they want to stand and they have an appetite they have a will to live and we will do everything we can to help them she has arthritis in her front joints and we're treating that best we can, as we are with little Pippa who came to us, oh, well over a year ago now, possibly nearly two years and had been left paralyzed. She's actually lying outside the hospital block at the moment. So what I'll do over the next few days or week or two is take you to some of the ill faithfuls, people who you know about, I think particularly of Joey, who came down with three of his friends from the Algerian border and has done very well. Some of the donkeys, um, a, a, a couple came from Taradont. We, we bought one donkey up who'd lost a hoof and discovered we'd left his friend behind and his friend is now here as well. So there'll be quite a lot of catching up to do. In, in terms of Instagram, people on Instagram say, and they are very keen, that they want me to continue in the way that I have been doing and have a personal relationship with them on Instagram. And that will continue. I, I promise you that won't go away. 
but we have to be realistic. We can't keep asking people who support us and donate to us to just donate more. We can't do that and we're growing all the time. So we're looking at creative ways where we may be able to raise funds ourselves, either through grants or, of course, I'm advised a very good way to do it is through YouTube. We've had huge help from Mamunia Hotel, who are coming up, I think, next week, the end of the month. They're going to film for two days and do some, some short videos for us for Instagram and a rather longer one from YouTube. So I encourage everyone to subscribe to our YouTube channel because once I reach a certain number, YouTube will monetize that doesn't make me very happy because it means interspersed they'll put adverts on but you have to look at it this way we have to do whatever we have to do to save these donkeys so I would ask people to bear with that um, we are going to be have to be more creative and I promise you we will do that we will not go backwards although I have to say it's pretty tough at the moment because I think everybody has got pandemic exhaustion and charitable giving has been a big issue during the pandemic and in a place like Morocco you, you get lots of individuals who maybe save an, animals who are asking for funds and people just become flooded and worn out with that constant request. I hope you will note that I never sit here and say oh, we've got a, a, a donkey coming in this afternoon. We can't bring it unless we have the money to do it. We always do it. I do not go out there begging for money, but that doesn't mean that we don't need money. Um, there are lots of good things that have happened and I'm sure that things will get better. Uh, I send my best wishes to all of you who are longing to get back to Marrakesh. We are all longing to see you and we hope that day will come very soon once people feel safe and the governments have opened the borders. So bye for now.